Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits in the 2006 Acura RSX. So we're gonna start off uh, by uh, showing you what tools you'll need. You'll need a small ratchet with a 8mm extension to get the two bolts underneath the radio. Uh, you're gonna need some type of clip removal tool but you can also use a screwdriver with tape over it. And uh, if you have it handy, uh, some hook like that help you a lot. So we are start off, we're gonna have to remove this panel where the heated seat switches are and the cigarette lighter. So to do that we're gonna move this panel a little bit back so you can use your fingers to get behind there but we're gonna use our hook and just this whole thing will pull out. work your way around it and there's two switches here uh, so one for the heated seats you just press the clip and it'll come off and also the cigarette lighter you have to press on this clip and it'll also come off it might separate the heated switches might separate they come off uh, just like that so if something like that happens you just push them back and that's it so the next step is underneath here you're gonna see there's uh, there's one bolt right here and there's another one right here. Uh, those look like Phillips but if you're gonna use a small Phillips screwdriver you're most likely gonna strip them so that's why we're gonna use this uh, small ratchet with 8 millimeter socket and we're gonna go ahead and remove those two bolts right now. So we just removed the two bolts underneath the radio, so they, so they look like that. And like I said, don't use a uh, Phillips screw uh, driver on them because uh, most likely you're going to strip them. Uh, just use the 8mm socket. So the next step is to remove the radio. And uh, it's going to be a little harder for you, but you have to push it from the back. And when you do that, it's uh, going to come off. But if yours is not coming off this easy, you can just go ahead with uh, with your clip removal tool or your flathead screwdriver and just work your way around. And I'm going to show you where the clips are. So once you remove the radio, there's uh, well, first of all there's two plastic clips on top, but they don't hold much. There's uh, the two clips here on the side. Same thing on this side, and there's also two or three at the bottom. No, there's two at the bottom. So if you start from one place, you just work your way around it. And uh, once you remove the radio, you're gonna see this uh, open port uh, right here. So this is where a kit is gonna plug in. Uh, so if you have a, uh, if you if your stereo looks like this one, the kit will work. If you have a built-in six-disc changer, then your uh, the there's no port like that at the back of the radio, and our solution will not work with your car. So make sure you do not have the six disc changer so we're gonna take, this is what our kit looks like you have the module in the middle this is what's gonna go out, uh, to the back of the radio and on the other side you have the iPod iPhone cable and uh, the auxiliary 3.5 millimeter jack so we're gonna go ahead and just take this and plug it in at the back of the radio just like that so we're going to line it up with the port and just plug it in, just like that. And uh, once you plug that in, you don't have to set anything, uh, you just have to test it. So we're going to go ahead, we're just going to uh, take our keys and turn it to the first position. And uh, so we're going to start off with the, it's right now in the FM mode, so you're going to press the CD button. First time you're gonna press it, it's gonna be a regular CD. You press it again, it's gonna say CDC, this four, track seven, or this four, track one. So at this point, you can just take your auxiliary, plug it into your iPhone or any MP3 player, press play, and it will play. Uh, but if you're using the AUX, you have to control everything from the actual phone, not the radio. So we're gonna connect it to the, to the Apple connection, just like that. 
and uh, I'm gonna go into our iTunes so <clears throat> when you're in disk one uh, so you can use the disk plus minus buttons when you're in disk one this is the hybrid mode uh, this is where you can control everything from the uh, from the actual iPhone and from your uh, CD player so you can switch the tracks going like that uh, if you have steering wheel controls it would also work but this car doesn't so this is the hybrid mode if you go up disc 2 is gonna be your first playlist and then the iTunes gets locked if you go to disc 3 it's gonna be your second playlist so just one behind so when you're in a playlist mode you can only control everything from the radio so this display is very small and doesn't display much so we always suggest using disc 1 track 1 when it's the hybrid mode so you can just choose your favorite playlist from here from your iTunes uh, put the phone or mp3 player away or actually iPod and just control everything from the radio so you can switch the tracks and if you go back you press the CD it's gonna go to your regular CD press it again it goes back to the CD changer the new one so basically after you install the kit the car has that it thinks that it has the external CD changer and then the FM and everything will work the same way uh, after you tested everything you're gonna have to run the cables so you have two options on this car you can either run the cables into this compartment right here for that you will have to <coughs> remove the radio and uh, you're gonna have to drill a hole into this plastic compartment and uh, this way you can have both cables uh, coming out of here but you're gonna have to drive with this thing open uh, the other option that you have is to just uh, hide the module at the back and run the cables into the glove box the glove box is very open so once you open it there's if I remove the radio and I can I can meet my hands halfway so it's basically open space so you don't have to drill anything you just drop it in the glove box and then it's okay to lock the cables uh, with the glove box so after you've run your cables just put everything back make sure you put the two bolts underneath and uh, you're pretty much done so again this was a video for GTA car kits in the 2006 Acura RSX I hope you liked the video and we'll see you next time